tell you about a product that I am loving. So I really got into bright lipstick at the beginning of the year in January when I got to film with Clinique and got to try out their new lip color pop or is it lip pop lip color whatever it is I got to try their entire line they sent me a bunch I then bought more than they sent me I have every single shade I love them and I discovered that I love bright colors on my lips and I would have never ventured out into that if it wasn't for Clinique, so thank you Clinique. And I'll link to that video below if you haven't seen me where I try on every single shade. Well, I think my lips are still recovering from that intense experience. So in this video, I am not trying on every single shade, but I did want to kind of walk you through and I will be showing swatches. Now let's get back to the beginning. Many, actually a few months ago now, Butter London, the company known for their nail polish sent me a box of their at the time new release which I'm just reading from the box it's the Butter London Lippy Bloody Brilliant Lip Crayon and a better name product I don't know of one they are bloody brilliant so uh, I have a few favorites honestly I have a few shades I haven't worn yet because I don't think they're great for summer but I will walk you through each one really quickly and um let you know what I think at the end. Before I get into the individual shades, let me tell you a little bit about the actual product. They come in these little pencil type forms. They're about the same size as a NARS um, lip pencil. And they have an interesting top because you know they come off. You can see how much I've worn this one. But then the top also comes apart into another bit, which you can see uh, has a built-in sharpener. It's messy. And it's not like you can do this on the go. You need to do it over a wastebasket or a napkin or something like that. You have to pop off the end and um, it comes with a little pick and you can pick up the stuff that gets stuck. So that's not the best product design. I wish they just kind of skipped this and I would have just used um, a sharpener that I have at home. But I guess it is handy if you're out and about and you're in a pinch. You can just go to the restroom and sharpen it. They all have a slightly... They're not satin, there's a built-in shine to them, so they're not fully matte, they're not really, really shiny, but there is a definite, it's more than a satin finish. They all have a minty odor to them that I can kind of smell even while it's still on my lips. There's a coolness to the lips, but there's no tingle. I have read all the literature all over the internet, and I have not found where these are officially billed as long wear lipsticks, but let me tell you, these are amazing. These are the shade, these are the, this is the product I reach for when I know I'm gonna be somewhere and I'm not gonna have a chance to touch up my lipstick. And you've seen me wear these on a lot of vlogs and photos and the color range is for the most part really great. And like I said, I think the best part about this product is how long wearing they are without being drying. So that being said, let's talk about the individual shades. The shade I have here is called Disco Biscuit. And I am not going to refer to the internet as to what, I'm just going to tell you what I think it looks like. So this is more of a um, kind of a neutral pink, I would say. It's a brighter pink um, than maybe a rose-toned one. It's definitely in the hot pink family, but it's the, uh, the most wearable and toned down one. Now the next one is uh, Primrose Hill Picnic, and that one is by far... Uh, not a, um, this is not for the shy, it is almost a neon pink, and um, it's, it's wearable, I mean I wear it out, but it's definitely not for the shy. Um, another really bright one that I wear constantly, it's the orangey red one you see me wear all the time. Um, I wore it in my New Mexico vlog when I went to um, the meetup. It is Ladybird. And it is like a tomato orangey red, more orange than red. There's the, the I'm sorry, there's Primrose Hill. There's Ladybird. And um, again, I think it's very flattering. I can't believe I love orange lipstick now, but I really, 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 really love it. Another one that is very well worn, as you can see by the, <laughs> the stub, is Trout Pout. And there are, I should say, there are matching nail polishes. The nail polish preceded the lip product. There's Trout Pout. How do you describe Trout Pout? Kind of a melony, a bright melon, I would say. These are all great summer colors, which is why they have been worn so much. The next one, which is, it's hard to pick a favorite, but this is my favorite one for just every day, slap it on and don't think about it. It's called Teddy Boy, and it looks like this. 
So it's one of those My Lips But Better kind of shades, wears really well, doesn't give a lot to the face, but definitely makes it look like you're wearing something. You're not completely naked on the lips. The next two, admittedly, I really haven't worn. I feel like they're more fall colors, but I do want you to see what they look like. This one is called Toff, and Toff is sort of that burgundy wine color. It's a beautiful shade. I know I'll wear it eventually, but I'm not ready to pull out my deep winter type shades. The next to last shade is called Ruby Murray, another great, I'm gonna go this way now, um, a little more brick red, I would say, in tone than Ruby Murray. No, this is Ruby Murray, than Toff. More of the, a warmer brown undertones. And then there's one that was just a total fail flop horrible so this is the one I thought I was gonna love the most it's terrible this one is called tea with the queen and it's supposed to be their nude shade now all the shades that I have on here go on smooth you feel like you're rubbing butter across your lips they're soft they're creamy there's no stickiness you know how sometimes you feel especially with long wearing lipstick which is not technically supposed to be but it is you have that saran wrap cling wrap feel to the lips nothing like that this one, however, I'm putting on the other hand because, no, I'll put it with the other ones. Um, it doesn't go on the same. It's clingy. It's dry feeling. It's patchy. And um, while there's some color payoff on the back of my hand, in real life, it is, all I get on there is like shimmery bits of glitter. And I don't even think there is, yeah, well, I can't even tell if there is glitter in this. But it was the biggest, for me, the biggest disappointment. I don't know if I got a bad batch or what but it was absolutely horrible so these are available at Ulta they are available at a store called Beauty Bridge they're available at Butter London themselves and they are available at Macy's I have seen these in my Ulta and <clears throat> excuse me I love them I love them so much I'm actually on my second one of Ladybird because I, I got this one first and I've been wearing it the longest and I adore them. So let me know if you've tried any of these. I have a few more lip products to talk about in the next coming weeks and months, but these have been the standouts of the summer. I love the portability. I love the long wearingness of it. I love the color range. The um, minuses are, I don't love the built-in sharpener. I think it's a total waste. It needs to be redesigned if they're going to keep it. I hate the nude shade. It's terrible. And I would like to see more color range, a lot more neutral shades and maybe not all so many brights. So I hope that Butter London, if you're listening, I hope Butter London comes out with more shades in this, in this line because I really do love the product. Let me know if you've used this and what you think. And in the comments below, also let me know if there are another range of products that you'd like me to check out for you. I'm happy to do that. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Hey guys, I'm back! It's our vacation vlog and we are hanging out at the San Antonio International Airport on our way to Albuquerque Airport and from there a 30 minute